Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to go mining for resources so that we can build both rockets and Gatling cannon ammunition. Because apparently we don't have a lot of that stuff so we're going to have to do that. And also, might as well repair this. Yep, I flew it into the asteroid and luckily, <laughs> luckily the game kind of glitched out a little bit then it kind of flew through the asteroid instead of damaging my ship but we'll do that and well actually you know what instead of leaving this here now nah, we can leave it here it'll be fine all right let's go to actually I think this is the right area we're gonna go to the rave cave wherever it is we're gonna get in the gonna get in the mining machine we're gonna find ourselves some magnesium and uranium. Those are the two things that we need. Everything else we pretty much have a lot of, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, got a little dent here. Might as well fix it. Alright. Let's uh, zoom away from here. Let's find some uranium and magnesium. Actually, you know what? There was some uranium and magnesium back at home base, so might as well mine it. All right. Yeah, there's not many asteroids out today, which is nice, because that does tend to use up our ammunition. Ooh, something's floating off. I know we won't actually get anything from it, but om nom nom. Yum, 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 I will eat you. <laughs> this is actually really effective. Anyhow, I'm getting distracted. Let's get back to business, shall we? So, magnesium and uranium. We're going to need a lot of it because we're going to want to fill up all of our ammunition and have some left over. So, it's going to take a while to get it all, I think. And, um, I do believe there's quite a bit in home base. Let's, uh, take a look. Oop. I think all of our guns are out of ammunition right now, except for maybe the ghost. I think the ghost still has a little bit of ammo left, but not much. Hmm. Let's see here. Where, oh where? I think there's uranium over here. Eh? Yeah, any left? Not much, but there's still uranium left. Let's go grab this. And there's magnesium down there too. Awesome. Two for one deal, right? 14 meters away for the magnesium. The uranium, we're already mining it. And the uranium we only need for the missiles, and obviously we use it for fueling the ships, but... The magnesium we need for both the missiles, and we need the magnesium for the bullets as well. So, we'll use that. Only five meters away. I think we're mining it. We actually might be mining it already. Looks like it. Yeah, we are. Let's pop up our inventory and take a look. Yeah, we're already mining some magnesium. Actually, quite a bit. Let's keep on mining. Mm. So uh, we might we might actually fill up all of our refineries, not only the ones in the home base, not only the ones in the rave cave, but also the ones in the Titan ship. We'll fill everything up. Mine as well, right? I'm so close to the cobalt, I'm just kind of wondering... Oop, there's a mining carriage on there. Um, I'm just wondering if I should just go straight through the asteroid. Because <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard backing out of here. But then again, I don't know how big this asteroid... Well, actually, I know this is a massive asteroid, but I don't know how close to the edge we are. Let's 
let's see here. Are we just mining rock right now? No, we're mining... Holy Jesus, that's a lot of magnesium. A lot of iron, too. Or, er, uranium. So we'll be mining this for eons. Okay, let's uh, slowly back on out of here. If we can. I don't want to dent my ship, but I know it'll happen. <laughs> With the way I fly. And third person camera's having a little bit of trouble in here, but I'm not really surprised. It is pretty cramped. There we go. There, burn down a little bit. Oh, oh. Scraping the bottom, I think. I should put some, uh, put some drills on the back of this thing. Might just be useful. Oh, oh. Don't mind my denting things. Well, we're good. And out we go. Oh, stuck on something. There we go. That was, that was a little bit of an ordeal, but we got more than enough stuff. So let's go here. Let's unload some of the things at this reactor, or these uh, refineries, rather. Well, let's see here. We'll only unload what's in the cargo containers. We will unload uranium. And we'll also want to unload the stuff that's in our inventory, because we don't need that. Let's turn our jetpack off. Go down here and drop off some of these steel plates that we don't need. Alright. There's nothing in these assemblers, is there? Nope, because we're at a museum, that's why. Alrighty then. We'll grab the rest of the uranium, grab the platinum, stone. Can't grab that. Can I drag it? Nope. Can I drag it to... This one? Ah, yes I can. Alright, where's the other one? There we go. We'll drag that to our inventory. Alright. This one's currently mining uranium, so we'll give it some more. We'll give this one some platinum and stone. Alright. There we go. And we'll fly on over to the rave cave, we'll unload some more there. And then we'll finally make it over to the Titan and finally use the Titan for the first time. I don't think we've ever actually used it for anything yet, so that'll be a nice change of pace. There we go. Ooh. Burn up a little bit. And there we go. I believe I said I was going to put a little collector there. We can probably do that this episode as well. Which also means that we need to put a collector on here. Well, actually, what is it? We need to put a connector and a collector or something on here so that we can just drop out the stuff from the cargo containers into the collectors. Alright. Ooh, a lot of uh, uranium here. That's good. Take the silver. That's right, I was mining stuff a couple episodes ago. Take this, this, this. And we'll all put this all in the assembler. We actually might be able to make a couple more missiles and whatnot if we put everything in the assembler from this. Yes, magnesium. Not much. That's actually not much at all. But let's put this all in here. Let's go to production. 
I think it's tools? Yeah, tools. Oh, it's still making a whole bunch of stuff, but... Yeah, we need more uranium, platinum, magnesium. Alright. Well, we have plenty of that on board. Well, magnesium and uranium. Not so much platinum. I think we unloaded most of the platinum already. Nope, I stand corrected. We have some. Take that. Take the iron. Take the rest of some magnesium. Alright, we'll drop this stuff off in an empty reactor, or refinery. There we go. Oh, that one's full yet. I think the end one doesn't have much in it. Nope, not much. Alright, now let's go over to Titan. And we'll drop some stuff off there. Alright. Can probably dock at it. Well, we don't have any landing gear though, so I guess we're not gonna actually dock. And our ship is a little bit big for the landing pad. Actually, maybe it's not. Might be just small enough. All right. So what do we have left in here? We have some magnesium, which is what we want. Fly on in here, turn our jet back on, fly down. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, there's some stuff in the cargo containers yet that we can refine. Where, oh where? Huh. Looking for the control panels. Ah, here we go. There's one. Let's see what are in the cargo containers. Not in that, nothing in that one. Well, there's some nickel in that one. Throw that in the refinery right away. What about over here? More nickel? Some iron. 20 steel tubes, we'll keep that in there. Oh, alright. And then we have some gold, magnesium, which is good, and cobalt, alright. Let's throw this in this one. I believe there's a little bit of cobalt left in this, right? Yep, a little bit. Throw this in here. Fly on up. I gotta figure out which one of those uh, tubes on the outside um, goes to the refinery. So there's a whole bunch of these tubes, and I know one of them leads to the refinery, but I can't figure out which one. I'll figure it out eventually, I swear. Right, now we have a little bit of stuff left in this. Eh, can we take some stone? Yeah, we'll take the stone too. Alright, now after this we're gonna go build the connectors and collectors back at the rave cave. Alright, we'll throw this in this one. And then after we're done building that, we should be able to collect this and build some more ammunition. How much stuff is left in here? Eh, enough. It's not going to run it run out anytime soon. All right, now let's fly on back up to our mining ship. All right. I think this is the correct way. Yep, there it is. Let's fly into the cockpit. I 
There we go. I kind of want to see what's in here first. A lot of iron. Ooh, there's some gold in there, too. Gold, cobalt, silicon. Mining your military transport. Ooh. We might just go have to blow ourselves up. <laughs> Maybe. If it gets close enough, we will. Let's head on over to the rave cave. We'll build the collector and connector. And then we'll go from there. If we do go check out the military transport, I want to make sure I have nothing on me because I'm fairly certain it will end in an explosion. Either I will die or it will die. Probably me, though. Hmm. Alright. There it is. Okay, so let's exit on out of here. All right, there's some stuff in the assembler that we'll take. We'll take the steel plates, the bulletproof glass, those, 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 computers. Oh, we don't need radio communication components. Alright, so... What do we need to make a conveyor tube? We have enough for that, so we'll put that in our inventory. We also want a curved conveyor tube with a collector. So... There we go, we're gonna put one here. We'll have this facing up with a collector going the correct direction. There we go. So we'll be able to come by, drop off our stuff. It'll fall through, go in here, and stay in the cargo container, hopefully. I might have to put a um, connector or conveyor. I think it's just a regular conveyor. Yep, conveyor right there and turn it off so it doesn't automatically shove it in. But uh, even if it does, that's not necessarily a problem. Alright, let's finish this, or hopefully we have enough to finish this one. Do we have enough to finish that one? Yes, we do. About this? Yes, we have enough to finish everything. Alright. And then we can work on the drill ship. Military transport is getting pretty close. So I think we will be taking a look at that at the end of the episode. Yeah, there we go. Alright, for this, we're going to want to put a conveyor here and a... Let's see here, we want a conveyor and a connector, I believe. Yeah, because the connector, we put the conveyor here and the connector on the bottom. When you turn the conve conveyor on, it will drop out all the stuff out the bottom through the connector. So put that there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we rotate this the correct way. Not the correct way. This is the correct way? Yep, there we go. That's the correct way. So it's flying over to the other side. Do the same thing. Now hopefully we have enough to finish it. I think we should. Yep, have enough to finish this one at least. And done. What about this one? Yep, got enough to finish this. No, we don't have any more displays. We'll have to make some more. 
Alright, well, let's go make some more displays. I know we have enough for them, so... Alright, so we can stop making whatever we're making. Do make some more displays. I think we need... Four should be fine. But... Eight for good measure, and then we'll continue building the... Build 20 of those, a bunch of those. Or as many as we can, rather. All right. Oh. I thought I took the displays, didn't I? What's in my inventory? Hmm. I must not have taken them. <laughs> nope, I didn't. All right, there we go. Oh, no, we need more motors, too. Alright, well, we'll get those as well. Okay, so we need at least one motor. Probably two. Whoops, that made me go flying. So I need two motors, and that'll be enough to finish this. Alrighty then. Um, you can finish making that. Oh, or I guess you're not, because you don't have enough stuff. We need two of these and we're done. done with that one and done with that one so this will make unloading things a little bit easier actually you know what I'm going to do to make it even easier I'm gonna take these to make sure that we don't you know drop anything on the ground which is entirely possible because I'm a derp sometimes well, I'm gonna put that there that there put that there well, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a little funnel so that if anything does doesn't quite make it in it'll roll in three whoa. there we go perfect place that one there Two more, and then we're going to actually make the funnel itself. Alright, now for the funnel. There we go. I don't know, it actually looks kind of cool with the... Uh, like the struts down there so I might leave the bottom one unfinished but we'll we'll finish the top ones to make the funnel look better all right not the way I want it hmm how are we going to oh I know wrong block that's why Wrong block, indeed. I think that's correct. Yep, that is. Is that right? Ah, I think it is. Yep. There we go. One more. Alright, now we just need to finish these. I think we have enough steel on us. 
Oh, I made them heavy armor. My <laughs> whoops. I don't have enough armor. Well, we'll finish that at a later date then. But what I really want to do is... I want to find that military transporter. Let me drop off all the stuff I'm carrying, because I'm fairly certain I'm going to die. Right, don't need any of that. And we'll even drop off the... Well, we'll keep the grinder. And I suppose we better keep the welder, too. Alright, we had some missiles in here, I think. We'll take... I don't know. We'll take one of them so we can top off the scout craft. And we'll finish that. Nah, sometime. <laughs> Alright. Military transport is getting pretty close. Relatively speaking, five kilometers. Holy crap, you can see it from here. That thing is massive. Massive indeed. And I'm very positive that that is trapped. And I'm very positive that it will shoot at us, so... Yep. Let's get in our ship. Well, first we're going to load it up. It is made out of heavy armor, but I severely doubt it's going to be able to take any beating. Actually, you know what? Just because I maybe have a chance of living. I'm going to see if I have any... Um, I know I have some steel plates down here. We're going to add a couple steel plates to it. Or, well, we don't need that much. Take, I don't know, 50. Because we don't really have any heavy assault craft yet, but I'm kind of curious as to what it will take. So we're going to place that one there, that one there, that one there. There we go. There we go. I'm going to quick finish this. And then we're going to go on in a little exploration adventure thing. Oop. And we probably will lose this scout craft, but that's alright. We'll make a bigger and better one soon enough. I'm not really worried about running out of energy. I have a cockpit to jump in right next to me, so... We'll wait until it's critically low before we do that. Alright. Almost done. With this side, at least. Down to about 8% energy, but... We'll be fine. Alright, we'll just jump in here to get a little bit of our energy back. Um, turn it on first, I guess. And that's good enough to finish the ship. There we go. And I think three or four more plates to finish. Five more plates, actually. Military transport is getting even closer, almost four kilometers away right now, so it's going to be nice. All right. Oh, I don't have enough steel plates. Yeah, whatever. Good enough. Um, I'm actually going to save this and then we're going to continue just in case things go even worse than expected. Be back in a bit. All right, it's time to meet destiny, or our death, probably our death. The maximum range on those things are 800 meters, so if I stay at least 800 meters away from the ship, I'll be fine. But I have to watch out for the fact that 
the beacon is what says 800 meters away, the ship or the guns itself might be a tad bit closer, so I might want to stay around 850 meters away or something. Anyhow, we'll go turn initial dampeners off and drift to the target for now. This thing is huge. Hopefully we can shoot off the missile launchers. Find all of the traps. Disarm them. Well, let's turn our inertial dampeners on. Getting pretty close. This thing is massive. Okay. We don't want to get too close. We're 800 something meters away. Anything closer we will. Ooh, ooh, I think there's a missile launcher right there. So if I aim... Uh, there. Nope. I gotta track the target. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Too close, too close, too close. I'm not being shot at yet. Uh oh. Oh, that was weird. Frame drop there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm in target. Target range. Turn my inertial dampeners on. You can see those things scanning the sky. Alright. Alright, where, oh, where are you? What about... There. Hmm. I don't know if that hit or not. I doubt it. Alright, one more shot. I think they keep on intercepting it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad news. I'm out of here. They're shooting at me. Ow. Well, let's see. Alright, let's take a look and see what the damage is, if there is any. I don't think they... I know they hit me once, but... That was only with... It was only with Gatling cannons, so I don't think it was any... Anything too terrible. Well, we're out of ammunition, and the military transport is getting away. And if we get too close, they're just gonna blow us to smithereens, so... Now we kind of know that... We need something that has a lot of firepower to take out these military ships, so... Let's fly on over back to our base, and continue with our mission of making ammunition because <laughs> we need that ASAP especially if we're to take out something like a military transport which looks pretty freaking cool I mean it's heavy armor it's massive it's got a whole bunch of missile launchers and Gatling cannons on it that would be a nice thing to have all right well, we're going to park this thing back at our base. Alright, getting closer. Haven't seen any asteroids recently, which is good. Where's our Titan? Okay, hoping that uh, ship doesn't get too close to our Titan. Did it disappear already? Yeah, I think it did. Okay. So it looks like the military transport is gone already, so we don't have to worry about that blowing up any of our stuff. Alright, we're getting closer. We'll land this back at the home base. Good. And we'll park it here. In proximity yet. Nope. Oh, there we go. We'll lock it, turn it off. Get on out. And there we go. Well, we got shot at. We got into a little bit of combat, so that was fun. Oh, this thing's going to float away. Better do something about that. Okay, 
Well, actually, that'll be it for this episode. If you have any comments, suggestions about next, next episode, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I always read them. So thank you folks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Ooh, a military mine layer. We might have to check that out.